What's going on guys? I haven't done a video in a while, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, play around in this game Prey a little bit. I bought this uh, on the Steam sale for like 15 bucks, and I've been having a pretty good time with it so far, so I wanted to just go ahead and do a little video and kind of show some gameplay in it, and uh, kind of tell you guys what it's about. It's been out for a little while, so, uh, you know, it's if there's anything you don't want spoiled for yourself, I guess don't don't watch the video and just stop now, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad for spoilers, but we're going to go ahead and play it on, uh, get everything pretty much turned up, I think I can go up a little higher, there we go, but I uh, got everything pretty much on max, running on our dual 2080 Ti's and our 9900K, I'll go ahead and load up my save game here, I got a couple games in the Steam sale, but this was on sale for like 15 bucks, and uh, I don't normally like first-person shooters that much, at least not multiplayer, but this is kind of a story-driven sci-fi sort of survival horror. It kind of froze up for a second there, during the load screen. Alright, so this is my little counterpart in January. Uh, Seems like the audio is still very loud to me. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit because with the headphones on, it's like a, it's hard to hear myself over the game. That's better. That's probably a little too quiet, maybe. But anyways, uh, yeah, like the purpose of the game is your guy. You find out like you're you're being held in some kind of a simulation and you break out of it, and you're actually on a space station, and. Uh, it's like you, your guy is part of a family of scientists who have developed all this technology, and this is a state. Uh, the space station is orbiting the moon, and um, like to develop these mental augmentation pieces of uh, hardware called neuromods, um, you're using aliens uh, trying to harvest them and doing things like that, and it's like they've gotten loose on the station, and they're pretty. Pretty creepy. They're called mimics, and they can basically look like this is a dead one from earlier, but they can uh, make themselves look like anything else. So as you're walking around, and you think it's like, oh, it's a chair. Maybe it's not a chair. Maybe it's a mimic. Like you gotta like hit everything just to make sure it's not gonna come out and try to get you. And um, anyways, I've been having a pretty good time with it. Like I say, uh, I think the graphics are, are pretty decent. It's running pretty well. Uh, I think you can see the overlay, but I'm getting like around 140 frames a second in 4K with everything turned on. So even though the game is, uh, I think it's a couple of years old, from 2017 maybe, uh, at the time it came out it had pretty much some of the better graphics on the market, but it's starting to show maybe a little age. But it still looks pretty good. I don't think there's any HDR options. There's no, uh, uh, what the heck, there's no ray tracing or anything like that, of course. But it is really pretty well. I think there's some uh, some baddies in here. This is my glue gun. You can use this to. Uh, oh shit! You hear that? I'm sure it up just a little. I don't know. It's like the audio is hard to to get at a good level. Turn it up to about 20 maybe. I might be a little bit better. But yeah, you can use it to uh, build like permanent block. You can break them and go with your wrench, but otherwise, as you can see, like they're solid and you can stand on them and make platforms for yourself and use them to get up to areas you can't reach on foot, which is pretty cool. Let's see if I can find something. I know there's some baddies in here. They call, uh, Like the bigger ones they call phantoms and then the little tiny ones are just I think they just call mimics but um, like they've taken over the bodies of the people on some of the people on the station so like you'll find one it'll be named as if it were you know still that person Let's see I don't know what's up with some of these that are glowing like this I don't know if you saw me or not they I think they have to have like a red line over their head if they saw you but there's stealth mechanics in the game and so forth Yeah, see, it's Garfield Langley, it says is its name. Mm -hmm. 
Now it's just got question marks. Like, we don't even know what that thing is. I don't really want to try to fight two of these at once. Like, usually it's bad enough when it's one of them. Grab it. So, like, some of the skills you can pick up in the game, you get these neuro mods that uh, your guy takes, like, this little camera looking thing and sticks up to his eye. And, like, these needles shoot into your brain and then teach you a skill, which is pretty creepy. Uh, but what some of the different skills you can get, like, uh, let's go into my skill tree here. So there's science skills, engineering skills, and security skills. I've only got two mods right now, so I don't have enough to learn really anything all that good. But uh, I've picked up, I don't know how neuro mods necessarily make you stronger, but they can. I guess it stimulates that part of your brain or something that maybe, you know, you're always producing more adrenaline or something. But uh, they, they call it leverage skills, but it lets you pick up bigger ob objects that are laying around in the game and then you can throw them at enemies, which saves you ammo because otherwise, like, bullets and stuff, you have to craft them yourself. And it's not like you, it's pretty easy to do that, but maybe there's no crafting station around, so it's good to be able to just hurl objects at things. It does pretty good damage. And I get repair. I need to get, like, to re I need to get at least repair too, because um, you encounter a lot of broken technology laying around the station that, uh, like, gun turrets and um, different vending machines and so forth that you can get healing items out of, like food items and so forth. And if you don't have high enough repair skill, you can't fix those. Um, dismantle lets you take apart items and make it, you know, uh, then you can break things down with recycling and it gives you more. But you take take the junk items and then you put them in uh, this big recycling machine and it spits out like just base components like synthetic materials and organic materials. And then you can use that to craft more bullets or more med kits or um, weapons and things like that you found uh, recipes for. I want to whip this computer out one of these things. You may not have liked that. We'll just lock old boy in, in there. I don't know if he can figure out how to get out or not. <laughs> They can uh, throw like bolt energy attacks at you too, which uh, do like an area of effect explosion and do quite a bit of damage. So they're really, I don't like fighting them if I don't have to. The small ones are, are not difficult, but the big ones can get pretty, pretty dicey and do a lot of damage to you. Pretty cool station. I like the, uh, the layout. I had to build myself a little jetpack. Oh, shit. Hello. Dude, they'll just come out of nowhere. Bastard. You can heal yourself by Good drinking. Good morning, Talos. Warning. Yeah. Tampering with administrative controls on workstations or keypads may result in electric shock. If you're having trouble accessing a system, please send a help alert to security. God damn, she's loud. Sorry about that. It's like random station announcements. <laughs> Forgot about that. It kind of gets annoying. Uh, you can get more, like the, the tumors you can use uh, to, to make more organic material in the recycling bin. So if you get uh, this skill. Attention. Station <laughs> leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. <laughs> I've been in the staff lounge, I don't know. I guess not. But yeah, I was going to say you could use neck. Uh, <laughs> they call it necropsy or. Hold on, we'll find it. Uh, yeah, necropsy. You can use to excise uh, like these tumors and then you can turn them into more useful materials. There's all kinds of literature and stuff laying around the, uh, the station. It's mostly just like kind of like flavor text to add to the story, but it doesn't really necessarily do anything. All right, so here we go. We're going to put items in the bin, which I apparently don't have much right now. Throw in there, and then you go over and you call it Cycle. And you get exotic materials, organic materials, synthetic materials whatever you get, and then you can use it to craft, but not at the, the recycling station, just to let you recycle. They also have, like, workbenches, like a lot of games have, like survival games. But, 
see, with the, the leverage skills, I can pick up boxes, I can pick up these chairs and stuff. Normally your guy can't pick this kind of stuff up, so it's like sometimes they're blocking a path to a different area of the game or something. And the game gives you lots of different ways to play, so that's kind of nice. Like if you didn't pick that skill tree, you could always get something else. Drink a little water, get some health back. Ugh. Bastards. Ah. Ah. Start to get damaged. I have to heal myself. You can quick save by hitting F5. Things get stuck on stuff, so it'll see you can pick it up, but it doesn't always let you. Yeah, well, let me pick it up for some reason. did that, all they do is tell it to pick it up. He just chucked it of his own accord. Damn it! Uh. Oh, bastards are getting annoying. There's a lot of them around here. Uh, got, uh, jam, jam and tomato. And Captain Spree's fish sticks. Well, wow. all right. Now, if I got leverage three, it says I can pick up the whole refrigerator and throw it at people. So that's pretty cool. Duck beer, lemon peel, microwave oven. Oh. Break room cabinets apparently have quite a few food items. That's good. So I'm getting beat up by these constant mimics. Yeah, they call the mimics the Typhon, that's right. The, the whole race of these things they refer to as the Typhon. I also have this, uh, like, Nerf dart gun. They call it the Huntress Bolt Caster, but it's, a, it's just a Nerf gun, basically, that you can use to... Uh, like shoot, tar um, like like touch screens and so forth that you maybe you can't get to. Or maybe you're stuck in a room and you can see it from a distance. I'm sure the glue gun can put out fires, which is kind of cool. Since there's some areas that'll be, you know, we'll have like leaking gas or something, and it'll be burning. You can collect different plant matter, which again is. Pretty much you just recycle it into you organic matter. It says I need to go to this main lift, so I guess that's the next uh, next area I need to head to. I'll try jumping off this and see if my jetpack will let me glide down without dying. Yep, that's pretty handy. I think you, uh, you have to get that, and then it lets you, uh, you can go like, out of the airlocks and uh, use it to maneuver yourself around, because otherwise, uh, like, you just float off. The game won't actually let you leave the station until you have it, though. Alright, well, let's see where I'm supposed to be going. Well, of course there's a malfunction. Something's wrong. I'm talking to the lift control system. Hmm. The system is telling me it's fine. It's just... The diagnostic code is changing every time I make a request. And something is preventing the car from descending. It's stuck at the top, in the arboretum. I'll see if I can find another way up.
got it. There's a route through the psychotronics lab. Morgan, that lab is where the Typhon broke containment. Be careful. Mio, uh, this is, um, this is Dr. Calvino. Ah, well, I suppose you've turned in, uh, or you're ignoring me. I just want to, well, I, I will be a little late for my shift tomorrow, but, um, uh, the, the first thing in the morning, I want you to put together a new micro lens array. You see, the, the old one is it's garbage. And uh, get what you need from the machine shop. And if Clive is being an ass, just take it from the supply closet when he's not looking. Uh, we're not supposed to know the code, but, uh, well, uh, I'm sending it to you anyway. As soon as we can, Elazar out. Jesus. So, I don't know why the heck I had two pieces of audio going at the same time, but that's sort of irritating. That uh, is opening this door, what that does. We've got to move the game to the rec center and crew facilities, and it's an hour later than usual. Do us a favor and take a happy pill before showing up. See you there. Turns out Yuri's like everyone else, they'll tell you over lunch. Sometimes you'll find like people's passwords laying around a desk. Sometimes uh, the emails will have useful information. Uh, sometimes they'll have like utilities, like a video on file or something that you can watch to learn more about what you need to be doing. Apparently, I do not have the code to open this. Okay, so now like the story has kind of a conflict, spoiler, um, January, which is like the robot I've been talking to periodically that called me a minute ago, uh -oh, might be some bad dude coming, but January um, stated that you're basically supposed to kill yourself because you might, you have the cells of the Typhon in you that are giving you some of these abilities, and um, you know, if any of those cells get back to Earth, then they can contaminate the planet and kill everybody, and so the object that January has set forth for you is to destroy the station and kill yourself. Now it looks like this new operator is reaching out to me in December and is telling me I can get away by stealing um, an escape pod for myself. So it looks like there's a probably a choose your own adventure option here to do one or the other. Let's watch it because uh, it said there's potentially an enemy. Uh, this is something you can do to temporarily block electrical current is to fire these glue things at it, but eventually it will rupture and come start shocking again, so... And I do not have the ability to fix it right now, it says. I thought it said there was an enemy near here. Hmm. Okay, I can fix this, it says. This is another recycler, apparently. Bad. There's nothing in here that lets you uh, build anything new. Like I could stand to build some more gun ammo or something. So I gotta watch it because that thing will rupture again and then start arcing. If you get hit with that arc, that electrical charge, you're pretty much it doesn't insta kill you, but it, it might as well. It hurts you pretty bad.
Good morning, Talos. Our resident counselor, Dr. Cole, would like to encourage anyone experiencing symptoms of disturbed sleep, chronic stress, or anxiety to schedule an appointment in the trauma center. Dies, it's leaves some kind of like area of effect where where it died. Take its organs, med kit. That's nice. Petri dish sample, psi hypo. Now, okay, so um, any of you guys who played, I'm trying to remember the name of the game, um, Bio something. The game that you can give yourself like a god dang, well, I can't remember the name of that game. It's a game that has what they call like the big daddy in it. And uh, you could give yourself like different psychic abilities and use like fire and lightning and shoot um, like a first person shooter. I don't know why I'm forgetting the name of the game, but this is the same concept where your guy can gain like um, telepathic abilities and telekinesis and things like that if you use um, like the psyops place I'm about to head to. I think you can gain those abilities. So hopefully that'll be something I can pick up here. That'll be cool. Or psychotronics, excuse me. I just kind of tend to look around before I go into an area because there's sometimes enemies hiding or there'll be items like that when I'm laying around. But let's see. Joel Weeks. Okay. it's not full of giant annoying creatures. Psychotronics is the opposite of safe, Morgan. What are you after? Someone's helping you. Is it Michaela? Elazar? So that's your brother. I get the impression that, um, like, he's jealous of you or something. You're the younger brother, but it's kind of like your guy's the prodigy. And Although the other guy, uh, Alex, is very intelligent too, but it's like they both are kind of trying to please their parents who have kind of created this whole empire that they're both trying to you know kind of now take over and run and i get the impression that alex uh, your character is morgan and you can play as a female or a male version of morgan it doesn't seem like it affects i don't know how it affects the story if you play as the girl i'm playing as the guy uh but it oh invariably like i said i think he just i think he's jealous of your guy like maybe you got more attention from mom and dad or whatever but he doesn't like you i can eavesdrop on your brother's messages we're in agreement on this one Get through this place fast as possible. You're looking for a maintenance airlock to a utility tunnel called the Gut. It'll take you all the way to the top of the station. Kind of neat music they got in here. Okay, 
apparently I can't open that. If I go in here with guns, <laughs> like a security walkthrough, I thought maybe they'd start shooting at me or something. A lot of the um, equipment in the game, like the gun turrets and stuff, get corrupted by the mimics, and then they'll try to, to kill you. Some of the little flying operator things are fun to shoot with the glue gun, they just kind of fall out of the sky and they can't do much, and you just beat them with your wrench. kind of hear them making a noise that's how you know they're nearby but otherwise it's like they could they can be anything A lot of times they run away and you'll find them again later, like the same got same named mimic will still be around and you can I don't know. That might be one of the small ones. Like I say they'll run off and you'll encounter them later because they turn into something else so they can hide. <clears throat> them with some Windex. There you go. Starbender Cycle Book 3. Spatial Delivery. Special Delivery except from a book of three. Trevor Pulsar slammed the Talon's engine in overdrive. Praying to Zalor he'd make it to the gap. In the asteroid field before the Mordrax Raiders caught up to him. He was on an urgent business for Empress Tourmaline and rotting in a Mordrax kill prison wouldn't do. Oh. Alright, well, I don't know what the point of that is. But great. What is this thing, like a bong or something? Ah, uh, see, you know, this is like one of the cornier things you can do to get your health back, especially when you find like a multi, uh, Fauceted sink like this. Oops. Just sit here and keep drinking the water. Like each time you do it, you get one health from each faucet until you get your health back. Like it's uh it takes some time, it's kind of boring, but like I say, if you don't want to waste healing items, it's a good way to freely recover your health. <laughs> this game in a lot of ways reminds me of Half-Life 2 because of the um, the use of physics in combat, picking up items and throwing them at enemies, that kind of thing, instead of always relying on firearms. And then you have a wrench instead of a crowbar, but it's still kind of similar in that regard. Little little lamp here. You do have a flashlight as well, I forgot about that. I never use it. Like, I haven't had any real use, reason to, to use it much. Every area I've been to has been pretty well lit up. Who throws a shoe, honestly? I do, I guess. Alright, well that's getting boring. Let's have a look around. You gotta watch it though. Those fans... Psychoscope are... required oh. beyond this point. Okay. Well, I don't have a psychoscope. How do I get one? It seems like they would tell you. Of course, as soon as I say I haven't encountered any dark areas, this area is reasonably dark. Some areas you can actually turn off the power using like a, a breaker switch uh, in like a maintenance closet. Oh. Uh. Ah, little shit. <laughs> Went down the toilet. Oh, neat. Go down here. Allison Brady. I can't really 
throw that. I don't know, like, there's some issue in this game with picking things up. A lot of times, like, if it's even touching something, your guy will just drop it again or something like that. Hmm. Well, let's try going down uh, underneath here, I guess. Somebody walled this off with glue. Say, so immediately finding yet another area where using the flashlight is so important. Now, see here, like if I had leverage three, I could just go through there, but because they don't, I cannot open it. Ah! Dead. It looks like your battery just recharges when you shut the flashlight back off. I've been finding a lot of shotgun shells, but I've still not actually found the shotgun in the game, so I'm not sure uh, at what point you're supposed to pick something like that up. like the thing. A little scope. No, nope, that's another glue cannon. Ah, oh, he's got it. The psychoscope was a breakthrough. Apart from neural mods. Oops. <laughs> Ah, Mimic Detection, Gen 1. Okay. I don't know how that works. Hold on. It's the most important tech on Talos 1. Use it to scan the Typhon organisms if you want to learn what makes them tick. You invented it, by the way. Neat. Z. So yeah, supposedly uh, the neuro mods like can grant you a skill immediately that you didn't have before. So like if your guy wanted to become a master pian pianist, poof, you you can now play the piano like a master. The problem is, is if the mod is somehow removed, um, it supposedly you know makes it like so your memory returns back to the point where it was at when you installed the mod. So if your guy your guy doesn't remember things because he's been running through this cycle every day. Of having a mod installed and then removed again, um, his brother Alex has been experimenting on him. That's like I say at the beginning of the game, you more or less are escaping out of uh, like this simulation that your guy's been stuck in for you don't know how long you've been there, uh, and so that's why he doesn't remember anything. Uh, so that guy telling you, you know, you invented this technology, your guy doesn't know what he did or didn't do because he can't remember anything. Let's see, I've got four neuro mods. You get something interesting. Oh, telepathy. What does this take? Scan time. Okay, but why can't I use any of that? I wonder. Morph. Manipulate and the psychoactive ether to change shapes and dupe your enemies. Okay. Harness the destructive power of electricity, fire, and kinetic energy. Bioshock. That was the name of the game I was trying to think of earlier. Bioshock. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Hmm. Increase your health and 2015 and your stamina 105 run, sneak, and climb and sprint 5% faster. Increase your stamina to 125, 150. Such you run and so forth faster. Ooh, natural life expand increased by 25 years. That's pretty outstanding. By 50 years, by 75 years. Well, I mean, I wonder why they even bother to tell you that stuff. It's not like, you know, whatever. I guess it's just flavor text. Uh, let's see, effective med kits by 300%. Wow, that's pretty useful. What is this? Uh, ooh, increase your side pool to 150. I don't know how to do some of these things. Suit chipsets. It says, like, I don't have any chipsets, but I have slots for chipsets, so I don't know how that works. Okay. 
Okay, so I've installed Nimic Detection Gen 1, it says. I can zoom in, that's cool. Alright. Let me go back to the neural mods real quick and see if there's anything I can learn to do. Uh, I don't know how you get this. Maybe you have to have a certain base level or something. Let's try getting this and see if it makes any difference. Nope, I don't know. I don't know how you get this or how it works. Huh. Whatever. See, they can be pretty dangerous if they get the drop on you, or if they hit you once or twice, you're usually almost toast, so. However, if you get the drop on them, mm -hmm. and then... Psychoscope required beyond this point. Huh. Just trying to scan him and see if it would uh, teach me anything useful about him. Do not enter. Dr. Gish. Oh, hey. What's up? Scanning. Neuroimaging shows your psychoactive potential is at or near peak level. Oh, oh, good. So there's like three different kinds of those robots. There's like the little uh, trauma units, which will heal you. Um, there's like an engineering type that will re recover your suit if it's been damaged at all, which mine has taken some damage, but it's just an armor. And then uh, apparently these ones will give you like your psionic pool back if it's been used. All right, Morgan, I know I can't make you stay put, but you're gonna die down there if you don't listen to me. You need to calibrate your psychoscope. Try scanning the Typhon specimens around you. Once you get enough scan data, the labs will open. More importantly, You'll be able to install Typhon-based neuromods. You'll be unstoppable. That's what this is all about, Morgan. You spent three years of your life making it possible. Putting what they can do into us, you've just forgotten. So, basically, you've got multiple people telling you to do different things, and who knows what the truth actually is. So it would appear that uh, maybe that's how you unlock those different abilities I was looking at is after, like you say, you scan a enough stuff, it calibrates the helmet and then you can start accessing the skills in that pool. You can tell if they've been corrupted because they'll be red and they'll be they say some funny stuff like, you know, like they're confused or don't know what their job is. I swear I hear something. Is 
It's like flinging stuff around. I'm easily amused. Dr. Gear. So that's that's my name, don't wear it out, robot. Probably just goofed up. Let's see. I don't know. Caution! Equip your scythe scout prior to the way. Okay. So, you know. Oh, well, fine. I wonder why this has been walled off like this. Uh, I need a key card apparently, or maybe I can just enter from over here. Key cards are for nerds. Pan, pan, pan What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Uh, whatever. Is there anything interesting in here? I need to improve my uh, repair ability. There's some, some key cards from him. Let's see, maybe. No, unfortunately, it doesn't need to do that. Apparently this is like a prototype of the original neural mod where they were putting like spinal grafts and neat things like that, which sounds super exciting. Keep hearing noises. Oh, see there's something out there. Oh, see that's overloading, it's gonna start arcing again. Oh, anti-rad. Haven't actually encountered uh, too many radiation sources yet, but that probably will become more prevalent. What we got here? A fabricator, it says. Ooh. What the hell? Bitch! That's what I think about. Think about your little trick. A little shit stain. Let's do some recycling. What the fuck? Oh, see, I got, got electrocuted. That's, that's bad. Electricity is bad. I'm good. You don't like it. Because it hurts. It's, it's hot. I'm good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's mix. Make us a med kit, and then I'll make some bullets, because I use a lot of bullets. Sucks. Some more junk in here. Maybe I can use it to recycle and get up to make some more bullets. But well, I think this is probably a good place to uh, end the video. I mean, this is kind of just me running around, getting in fights, and exploring the game. I really do enjoy this game, though. Like I say, for 15 bucks on Steam right now, I think it's worth picking up if you are on the fence about it. Um, I have a laptop with a 
9th gen i5 and a GTX 1650, which is not a terrifically powerful video card, and it'll play this uh, in 1080p on max set, well, like, high, like all high settings, and it runs really, really well, and looks great um, on the on the laptop display, so even if your system isn't, like, stupid powerful, or you've not, you know, I mean, any game I can run in 4K and stay above 100 frames a second, the fact that it actually uses SLI is pretty nice, but as I was going to say, any game that'll run reasonably well in 4K isn't super graphics intensive at this point. So, uh, appreciate you guys watching the video. Hope you enjoyed the content. This is something a little bit different I'm doing with the camera. Uh, hope you like that. If you don't, don't watch any more of my videos or thumb them down. But thanks for watching again. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to the channel and I'll try to do some more con uh, content soon. I am going to go out of town here uh, for the first week of July. I'm going to be going up to visit the family for the 4th Independence Day. So everybody uh, have a happy 4th and I'll see you guys when I get back if I don't make anything before then. Have a good weekend. Later. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.